G'day, it's Rusty from Rusty's Outback Adventures and in today's video I need to fix something that is a little bit of a problem with this storage cupboard. Um, in a previous video, and I'll put a link in the description, I installed this tool chest as a way of storing my tools. Um, it works really, really well. I'm really pleased with the setup. But I have one problem with it, and when you park on an angle and unlock the, the lock, the drawers tend to all slide open. So you end up with all these drawers falling open. And this was never designed to be installed in a canopy where it sits on uneven ground. It's normally in a workshop. So the simple solution I've come up with is I'm going to use a series of these pad bolts. Now they've got a half inch throw on them. So if I install a pad bolt on each of the drawers, I can still lock it and unlock it. But once it's unlocked, I have to actually slide the pad bolt to get it open. And I think that's going to be a better system than just having it the way it is because there's nothing worse than having three or four of these drawers fall open at once. So the plan is, I'll just bring this camera in a bit closer, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay, if I get my big ugly head out of the way. The idea is, this drawer open, I'm going to fit the pad bolt about there. And that gives me a half inch of throw, and the throw will end up going into this bulkhead. So I've got some 3 mil countersunk head. Uh, bolts, they're 10 mil long, and I've got a uh, nylock nut, and this is just going through the front face of the drawer. Alright, so let's get one marked up and see how it looks. Right, I'm just looking at where I might put these, and there's not a lot of these, these top drawers are only quite shallow in their height, so I'm thinking probably somewhere in the middle. I don't want to tuck it up underneath, I'll never be able to get to it. The bigger drawers down the bottom are fine. I've got a hair bit of room. I'll probably go for the middle, just as a, a, a reference. Uh, do need to be careful, of course, that there's a bit of a lip on the inside. So I don't want to end up with the drill hole right through where the join is. So might be have a little bit of mucking around here. All right, let's mark this first one up. Well, unfortunately, the hole that's drilled in here, actually, when I try and fit that, and you can see this, let me try and get the camera in here. If I use the existing hole, it's going to hit this lip, which is actually the side of the drawer. So I'm going to have to re-drill these row of holes. So this row of holes here is going to be re-drilled a quarter inch in from where they are, otherwise they're going to foul on there. And I don't want to move the pad bolt further in because it'll give me less throw and less support going into this case. All right, let's go and drill some holes. All right, so if you can see this. The original hole was just on this inside edge about 10 mil in, or I've made a hole 20 mil in, and that's going to clear the, uh, as I showed you, it's going to clear this, this little lip on the front. So I'll go ahead and mark these now, and we'll drill one in and mount it. As I said before, I'm using a 3 mil uh, by 10 mil long countersunk screw with a nylock nut, so the first one's always the easiest. Now these nuts are a five and a half mil uh, nut, so I've got the little, little quarter drive socket set here. And I'll just do this first run up. If I can find a Phillips head screwdriver small enough.
the pad bolt on each drawer. Uh, can you spot the crooked one? Now at the moment I've only put it on one side and I'm just wondering whether I don't need to put it on both. Uh, guys, if you have a, a theory on whether I should one or put one or two uh, pad bolts on these drawers to stop them coming out, I'd really appreciate your comments if you'd like to put them in the comment section below. Uh, what I need to do now is, as I can get in close here, this pad bolt has got to go into a hole in there. So I need to somehow mark that hole. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm maybe put a bit of felt pen or even a dob of grease. I don't have any bearing blue. I just need to, so I need to mark the end of this. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give that a crack, see what we come up with. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use this hold this um, marker pen. I'm gonna put a mark on, put some color in this end, and then push the door, door shut. Just wiggle it on there and see if I can put a mark on it. So I'll have to pull the drawers out to be able to drill this, this casing. So I'm just hoping I can actually mark it. Okay, there is a fine mark there. All right, let's let's put this drawer out and see if we can drill a hole. Well, I've managed to drill a hole in here, and I drilled a six mil hole, and I guess I got it pretty close because straight in the hole. Look at that. That drawer is not going anywhere. So all I've got to do now is repeat it on the others. Well, I'm two for two at the moment. That's uh, just done the second one there, and six mil hole. So the, the felt pen marker on the end of the uh, on the end of here is the go. I don't have any bear. Oh, where am I? On the finger here. Yeah. So I just put a bit of felt pen marker on the end. I don't have any bearing blue. So in the absence of any of that, the felt pen seems to be working fine. So, all right, let's get the other four done. Well, if you can see these, I'm six for six. They all lined up. All went in the hole. Uh, it's a six mil hole I drilled. Um, so now. I've actually got it locked. If I unlock it, um, nothing's coming out. And then if I want each drawer, I can just unlock it and pull it out. And that, to me, I think is a far better way to go. Um, like I said before, as soon as you're parked on a bit of a bit of a slope, all these drawers would roll open, and there's nothing worse than you know trying to find something and the drawer in front of you is coming out. So uh, look, I hope you got something out of that video. If you've been watching along at home, you would have seen the previous video I did where I installed this uh, tool chest. If you haven't, I'll put a link in the description below. So, um, oh, the dogs are barking. Oi! Oh. Settle down, puppies. So, uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, a thumbs up would be appreciated. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, um, the subscribe button's here somewhere. And as I said, if you haven't seen the, the video, I'll put a link here somewhere for the uh, install of the tool chest I did. So, uh, thanks again for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one. What are you barking at?